welcome new subscribers and welcome back old subscribers so today i'm going to be doing a how to slash mini product review of this wig that i have it was requested on one of my youtube videos that i show how i do it because i put a picture of it up um i'll put a picture in this video like here of me with the hair on and every time I wore this I wore it for like a month and everybody thought it was my hair kept asking me how I did it and all this but they didn't even know it was a, it was a half wig so I'm just gonna show you how exactly I went about achieving the look how I put the wig on and all of that good stuff the wig that I will be reviewing today is called Annie by Outre and I got it in the color 1B so it comes in this box it has the info and stuff in here when you get it now keep in mind i wore this for like a month so mine isn't as fresh this is what it looks like like a blow dry texture so it's really good at blending into natural hair textures um as for the insides as a comb at the front and a comb at the back also has adjustable straps in here as well. Now I don't do wig reviews and I almost didn't do this review because I was like, oh my gosh, a lot of my friends watch my YouTube videos. I don't want everybody knowing that I'm wearing wigs, but this hair is really bomb. So I'm gonna do it anyway. As for the little details, I'm gonna leave those in the description box, like price, website, where to get it from. Um, I got it from wigtypes.com. It was really cheap, probably around like $15. I'm actually gonna order a new one so I can get more of a fresh look because this has been seasoned. These ends are, you know, getting a little stiff on me. So it was cheap, so I'm going to just get another one. This was the hair that I gave away in my 10K subscriber giveaway, um, and I gave the same hair away. Now that you've seen the hair, I'm just going to show you what I did to put it on. Okay, so my hair has been in a bun for like a day, so it's a little stiff right now, but because I'm just going to put it back up, I'm not really, I'm not going to brush it out. But um, what I did first was I parted off the first section, the front section of my hair, because this is a half wig, so you have to leave hair out. So I'm just going to part off the first section. This is actually more hair than I left out when I first wore it. Um... I only left out the bare minimum because I knew that I'd be wearing it for a long period of time and I didn't want to have my leave out hair damaged. So I parted off like ear to ear and with the back of my hair I actually had it corn rolled but for the sake of this video and for time I am just gonna pin it down just to get it flat. So there probably will be a bump on the back of my head in this video, but it's okay. It's just for video purposes. Next, I took a wig cap, like a little dome cap, and put it over my hair. Put it right up, right up to the point where my leave out started. This one's a little harder to put on because my hair's not braided. Now because my hair isn't braided down, I'm having a little trouble getting it up here. What I did when I did wear this hair, would I would put it on and then I would take these really long bobby pins and I would just secure it down like so. And I'll put one here and two here and two in the back just to make sure it didn't go anywhere. I just wore mine straight back. I would wear it just like this. It's about waist length on me and I'm tall, I'm 5'10". You can do so many styles with this. I used to wear it in like a fish tail braid. I've done braided headbands with it. The only thing that I don't like is that it gets old kind of quick. Like it's, it's very stiff now. It feels product, like it has product buildup on it, but I didn't put any products in it. Um, you decided to brush it out it you know it doesn't really like flow as easy as it used to it just gets really stiff that's why i'm gonna buy another one at night i would take it off and put it on my wig head i did sleep in it a few nights but i didn't like to manipulate 
my hair too much. And what I liked about it is that I could just take it off at the end of the night, still moisturize my hair, made my hair grow like crazy because I wasn't manipulating it and I was still taking care of it underneath. So like I said, I'll put all of the information for where you can get this hair in the description box so you can go check it out if you want one. If you want a 1B, it did take me a while to get one because they run out of stock so quickly. But um, this is the 1B color just for reference. I was seeing reviews saying that you could get a 2 and it would blend with the 1B, but I didn't like it. I could tell that it was a shade off and it was bothering me. So I think it was, I think the 1B is better. As for shedding of the hair, it didn't really shed that much when I first got it. But now that it's older, like even running through my hands, my hands through it, I'm getting quite a bit of hair every time I run my hands through, just with each pass. Once again, getting hair coming out. If you want to wear this hair, I would um, suggest being really careful with it. Um, you may have to invest in more than one, but at least you know what it looks like and that it's worth it. Especially since it's cheap, it won't really hurt your pockets. I think it's very convenient and easy for people that don't know much about wigs, like myself. This is my first one that I bought. And I think it's really a simple one to wear if you don't know about like closures, silk bases, and lace bases, and cutting them off. I'll be good with this. I'm just going to stay in my lane with this half wig. So, if you're interested in protective styling or anything, or you know, you're looking for other options, this wig I would definitely recommend. I wouldn't recommend it for the summertime. It is hot. You will sweat. You can accessorize it, of course, like anything else. Sometimes I would wear it with my headband and all pushed back like this. It is bumpy, guys, because my hair isn't flat, which you saw in the beginning. So I just wanted to make a quick video. Hopefully this wasn't too long. I just wanted to show you the hair, how to go about putting it on, and show you how simple it is to wear it. That's it for this video. I think I covered everything. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!